Okay, well, I found some. I'm gonna... This is on the south side of the road. It's further away from the road, so I figured that would be better. Um, I'm going to cut that piece off. I mean, I know I see all this is flowering. There's an awful lot of it, though. Um, just to uh, grab a piece here. So, I guess I'll record myself doing that. Maybe. No, this is going to take two hands. Let's see what I get by doing this. So, grabbing the nice little fish pliers I have, whatever you want to call it. My delica could stand to be a bit sharper, I suppose. Um, wipe the blade on the ground. Yeah, I can see some hairs there. Interesting. So yeah. Okay, so I now have this piece. From what I've read on the internet. Uh, one thing to do is to rub it all over the ground to uh, try to rid the spines off of it. So I will do that. And it is the outer skin, so you know, I'm going to be peeling that off anyway. That's all fine, right? Another one I read on the internet is to, of course, burn the spines off. However, I do not have a propane torch, or any other sort of torch for that matter. And I'm not going to purchase one simply to harvest cactus, which I'm not even sure I'm going to like. So, yeah, just rub it all over real good, I guess, huh? And I'm getting attacked horrifically by bugs here, so I'm going to flee. I'm only going to take this one piece from this particular patch. Trying to be conservative here, right? I don't think, I mean, obviously I didn't get all the spines off of it, but, you know, a bunch at least. And this is the bag I grabbed. Many layers of plastic. I'll pop it right in there. And that's that. Flee, bugs, flee. Well, the grass has definitely grown up a bunch just in the last couple days, which is obscuring a lot of the cactus, cacti. Um, I found a pretty decent patch shortly away from where I harvested that one uh, uh, pad. Uh, yeah, there's that. Then it comes over here a more extensive hole in the ground there. More extensive patch here. Still all hidden in the grass. All over the place though. Oh, this one's got some pretty nasty spines on her. Look at them suckers. I don't know how well that's going to show up on the video. Some pretty nasty spines. Ow, that one too. For some reason these ones are holding onto their spines a bit better. There's some more over here. Ow, my back, eating some paper. They're all over the place out here. Really something seeing all this cacti. All this cactus all over the place. All over the place here. I'm just going to harvest this one pad. I don't even know if I'm going to like cacti, cactus, prickly pear. 
I mean, look at this all over the place. And then so there's, there's uh, some nice toilet paper right there. That's that's quite useful when you don't have anything else and you need something. Oh yeah, a little mushroom. I don't know what kind. Got more cacti. That's a pretty good patch over here too. Getting closer into the trees. Holy cow, they're all over the place over here. Look, I almost stepped on that one. Cripes. I watch where I'm walking. Obviously, they are all over the place. A bunch of little spines stuck in my leg. That would suck, wouldn't it? Look at this, all over the place. That would suck too, but not nearly as bad as getting cactus spines, I would imagine. These bugs are really mean. There's going to be some pretty flowers. Oh, that one is starting to open up. I can see the video is getting pretty blurry here. Camera's not real good at close in, but yeah, at least the video camera portion is until take a direct image. Here's another one. These ones are well, it is evening, maybe they're closing instead of blooming. I'm gonna switch to close up camera here and take pictures of this. <laughs> 